Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a challenge that many developers encounter when working with Tomcat. Our viewer has inherited a JSP project and is facing an issue with how Tomcat handles URLs. Specifically, they need to make Tomcat accept unescaped brackets in URLs. Let's dive into the details of this problem and explore potential solutions together. All right, guys, welcome back to another tech video. Today, we're gonna to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution for you. Now, don't forget to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you'll get to that resolution. Anyway, on to the video. Cheers. To allow Tomcat to accept unescaped brackets in URLs, we need to modify the server's configuration. First, locate the server.xml file in your Tomcat installation directory. Next, open the server.xml file and find the connector element. This is where we will add a new attribute to allow unescaped characters. In the connector element, add the attribute relaxed query chars with the value of the characters you want to allow, such as square and curly brackets. After making these changes, save the server.xml file and restart your Tomcat server for the changes to take effect. Finally, test your application again to ensure that it now accepts the unescaped brackets in the URLs without throwing an error. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To make Tomcat accept unescaped brackets in URLs, you can customize the Tomcat server settings in your Spring Boot application. This solution involves creating a bean that configures the Tomcat server factory to relax query character restrictions. This method was credited to Matthias Lohr on Stack Overflow, who provided a helpful solution for similar issues. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. If you're encountering an error with special characters in URLs on Tomcat, you can resolve this by adjusting the server configuration. To allow unescaped brackets and other special characters, modify the connector settings in the server.xml file. And that's it guys. We've worked through, gone through your question, hopefully found that solution you're looking for. If we did, please hit subscribe. I really appreciate it. And until next time, you need technical help. I hope you have a good one. Cheers. Cheers.